I think you just like turn the car off or turn the lights off, something like that. And then they don't uh, chase you as much. Oh boy. If that's the case, I'm gonna get yelled at really hard. That makes me really sad inside. Oh well. Just another day in the life of me doing games on YouTube. Getting yelled at for everything. Even when I do something good, I get yelled at for something I did bad. Ten seconds beforehand. But it's okay. I can only really remember like two times that I've ever been, I don't know, being chased by the cops for too long, I guess. What is this? What the fuck is this guy doing? Like, come on now, man. What the fuck was he doing? Jesus. That was like a guy's dick on the billboard over there. I'm surprised this car's not damaged enough that they don't even want it. Don't worry, there's still time for that. I just totally went the wrong way. Holy shit. Oh boy. A little, I'm feeling a little uh, discombobulated today. I don't know what it is. I feel really weird today for some reason. Does that excuse my amazing video game playing abilities? No, no it does not. But hey, at least we're at the airport. We're only about a mile off from dropping this bad boy off. And after this, I don't even know how many more cars we have to get. Two? I think we need five in total. I think this would be the third or the fourth one, so we probably need one or two more. Maybe if I find enough, a fast enough car or a motorcycle, I'll try to do that jump that's over here. I guess I have to go all the way around this thing. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't need to do that. No, oh, God. One of, the, one of the lights out is on this car, and it's, like, messed up in the front. He's going to be pissed. He's going to be like, what the fuck did you do to my car? I drove it. That's what I did to it. You're seeing the famous Seamus driving skills right here. Your car 100% fucked up or your money back guaranteed. Yeah, there's that jump that I want to do, but I can't do it with this car. I would really fail the mission. Where am I even bringing this to? Like a car park? Parking garage? I swore I checked over here before. Am I even authorized to go in here? Like, what the fuck? Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Alright, good. I guess I do have some sort of authorization to actually get in here. Oh, yeah, he's got a nice big hangar. That's cool. I wish I had a nice big hangar. He also has a little jet in here. She is. She's a little scratched up and a little dented, but you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my twenty and under rule. Man, I just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like ten? No, not like ten, man. Exactly ten. Oh, ten. Wow, man, you one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real? Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. Oh, great. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Eh, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go. Yeah, Trevor says hello, by the way, and that he'd probably like to fuck the shit out of you. I can only imagine. Look at this fucking jet. Can I steal this shit? Nope, it's locked. Haha. <laughs> Damn. It was worth a try. So now I can take any car and leave, I guess, out of the two cars that they left for me. I guess I'll take this car. They're probably both the same. One looks more gray and one looks black, but that just might be me. I'm just gonna leave, by the way. I, I'm not gonna look for a plane, because I don't want to get like a five-star wanted level and then have to fail the mission. Because so I know, I know for, for a fact that is basically what would happen to me. And there you go, mission passed. 
Eye in the sky. I got a sweet bronze. There's a cop car right there. Oh, hey, there's a, another ramp right here. Oh, shit! Oh, that was terrible. That was the worst thing ever. That was really bad. I didn't know there were two of those little jumps, but... Uh, I failed it pretty hard. Kind of wish there was a faster car around here. Uh, what the hell? I did do a solid kid. Martin Madrazo needs help with something. He wanted you. I got Trevor on board. Don't mention it. We got to go up to his ranch off Sonora Road. Oh, great. A ranch. Oh, that's amazing. Just check all these. I just like delete these. Just delete all these out of here. Emails. Fucking, I don't care about these stupid emails. Can I delete these two? No. Alright. Uh, so there's a blue mission all the way off yonder, but that is not for me. Uh, does Trevor have any missions? We might just have to go as Michael and go do this new mission that's popped up. I don't believe Franklin has anything else, and I don't know if Trevor does, besides the little minor... Is he in a helicopter? I, I hope it was okay. a soft landing! Oh, there's like a C mission over here. That's probably the Cletus mission. Oh my god, yeah, that probably is the Cletus mission. Then there's like this one. Martin Madrazo. I guess we have to go up over there anyway. So probably the best thing for me to do is to just fly there as Trevor. That'd probably be the least amount of time. I don't know why I put a waypoint on it, but... Whatever. Yeah, this'll definitely be the least amount of time. Or what the hell? Heist crew member Chet, Chef? Is that Chet or Chef? Chef, 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 Chet. I have no idea. Boss, I know we ain't cooking, but since I helped with the uh, Azteca's attack, the okay, blah blah blah. I can't read today either. I guess he's uh, now a part of our. What do you call it? I'm just gonna go do this Cletus mission. Fuck this. I have a helicopter right now. I'm gonna go do this Cletus mission. Whatever the fuck it is, it's sitting on the map and it's bugging me. I'm sure it's bugging some of you guys, too. I have a helicopter. It's going to be the fastest way to possibly get there. Unless I was in a jet or something, but... It's a much faster way than going by car, so I might as well just fly over here and try it. We're, like, probably almost already there. We're already out in the boondocks. I don't know if he's before these mountains... Slash foothills. I don't know if he's after them. Like, where the fuck is this guy? Or it could be Chef, or whatever the fuck his name is. I thought his name was Chet, but then it looked like Chef, and I called him Chef. I have no idea. He's actually probably past these little mountains, then. Well, it seems that way. Son of a bitch. Can you imagine how long it would have taken by car? Oh, Neil. I thought I killed this fucking ah, asshole. Ah, brother O'Neal. Fuck you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the guy stealing contracts. You burnt the farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. All right, I guess we killed his brothers and not necessarily him. Either way, there is a Cletus mission over here somewhere. Or Chad or Chaff or whatever the fuck his dumbass name is. Now, this looks like the super hillbilly dude. Hi there. Yep. There Scooter! Oh, from Borderlands. Huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What the hell did I just put in my mouth? Is it like a Listerine strip, or was it drugs? What? You gotta specify, my what man. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. 
but an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Yes, we are downwind. Wait, is he over there somewhere? There's like a... There's like a red... A red circle. Where'd Cletus go? Cletus is just sitting over there. Okay. Oh, there he is. There's that asshole. Lift your head up again, you son of a bitch. There he is. Wrecked. So are we, are we just hunting these for the fuck of it? Like, we're not going to eat? Okay. We're not going to eat them. We're just killing them for nothing. Out here. Oh, we're going to have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player. And I talk from experience. Shh. Listen. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. All right. Is that him? What is that right there? What? There he is right there. Look at him. Look at this majestic beast that's about to get slaughtered unnecessarily. There you go. Not too bad at all. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Ooh, a mating pair? That's kind of mean. Kill both remember, of them while they're having sex? Pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, so no females. Only shoot the one with the stupid little buck antler horn bullshits. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. 